Hi, my skin is really messed up from trauma. Okay, so I grabbed Miggy. It was pretty interesting. Um, gut instinct said, get Miggy out of that room. Secure him in here with you. Close your door. That room, it's a, I can't explain all this, all right? So I closed the door. Within 30 seconds of closing the door, a man started bashing on my door. Boom, boom, boom. Like authority, like possibly cops or whatever they've been sending um, into the crimes. Oh, this is serious. Like, yeah, dude. This really serious was happening here. The cops, I'm the witness, so take that. You know, you're going to have to ask actual cops that are flying the helicopters and shining strobe lights on this joint. Ask them, because you, you're hearing it from the witness. But this is my, my take. The cops helped that lady make those fucking bombs upstairs. She makes the bombs. That's why the, the helicopters are always shining strobe lights straight up. And the neighborhood here, you have to, you have to take it on them and say, hey, why doesn't that concern you when you know there's something going on on S Street? Because this clear police activity shit is so obvious, all right? All right. Most housewives would be talking to their husbands about this. Like, what is going on, honey? Okay, normal neighborhoods would ask that. So you're going to have to ask the uh, authority figures who are flying those helicopters, shining the lights, and doing all this stuff that I witness. What's going on around here? Because I can't. I can't tell you, and they know that. I'm a witness. He moved me in on Craigslist. I rented this room from Craigslist, dude. When I moved in, there was a Chinese guy, too. He didn't seem like he was on the, the, the uh, you know, organized crime. No. This dude, from what I can tell, laundered money. This is the witness, okay? I'm not the lawyer on the case or any of the detectives. I'm pretty sure he laundered money. But, but, but everything I've been putting on that account is evidence. When the helicopter started coming was when I started putting up all those countless videos of what she's doing in the bathroom. So you can go ahead and look at my account and say, oh yeah, that's when those bros started coming. Do, 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 do. The lights, the, the blades chopping. Yeah. And I was like, wow, wow, the place is going to get busted. But it hasn't yet. And so I've come to my own conclusions. Um, the DCPD are involved with the hookers for sure. I witnessed that, that we're here, the one and one that I heard get killed and smelled the body. I'm a witness to all this stuff. And so I have to assume that they're involved with everything else I've witnessed here, like badge carrying cops. They don't have the right to, to wear the uniform or hold a badge. No, they don't. It's criminal. What they're doing, they can't walk around dressed up like cops anymore. The shit's really bad. Okay, so I don't know who was at my door, but they knocked. Boom, 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 boom. Four to five to six times. Boom, 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 boom. And they would say, Heidi, open the door. And they were shouting it. And they repeated that three times, three to four times. Boom, 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 boom. Heidi, open the door. And they were shouting that shit out there. It was demands and it was hollered. Then they would say it again. Okay, let me just role play this so I can make this clear. Because it, to me, I think is important. Boom, 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 boom. Bashing the door. Heidi, open the door. Heidi, open the door. Heidi, open the door. Boom, 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 boom. Again. Hardy, 
open the door. Okay, so they did this four times while they were out there, that, where they just role played. And they didn't take any time in between to, the Heidi open the door was exactly how I just role played it. Then they stopped, I stayed in here petrified. I didn't come out, I didn't react, I didn't communicate. I stayed in here petrified. Cause I know I'm a witness. I know when people are getting killed and I'm smelling bodies, people. Okay? And I know what she's doing up there and everything I've fucking witnessed ever since then with all of the how they're going in and managing some sort of water. This is all stuff that gets the Pentagon big time. I know that before the scare, they call it in the newspaper, the scare at the Pentagon parking lot with the bombs or whatever they were talking about on the newspaper. I know in here for two days, it was incredibly dangerous. I had to kind of hide out in my room. I know I heard glasses, clink, 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 metal pipes, clink, like 24 hours a day for two days, silent trips, the whole gamut. I don't need to recite this because it's already been pretty documented. I'm convinced and I tried to tell the agents, you know, the feds and stuff on my tips. Yeah, and so obviously it's been proven right. What I'm witnessing is domestic terrorism and I certainly witness homicide. It doesn't take more than a, a year of a rookie cop to know that. And the helicopters are all over this. And I don't talk about them anymore because it's important that I don't. So they just came to my door again because I'm a witness to domestic terrorism and homicide and scared the living daylights out of me. I think they're gone. I'm going to put this on YouTube. God bless America. I'll be all right.